Hi, it's Katherine Norland. Some of you were asking me about the video I did on focusing and just working on one project at a time until it's complete because you've seen that I have multiple things going on and also maybe you have tons of ideas and multiple projects you want to work on. Now when you pick one to work on and see it through all the way to the finish, that doesn't mean you're foregoing the other projects or that they're not going to get done. It's just that you can't do everything all at once, all at the same time. You have to, in order to be really effective in what you do, you have to really follow that one course until successful because my days used to look like, okay, I've got, let's say I narrowed it down to my six favorite projects and I would just make my calendar be like an hour on this, then I would switch an hour on that and then I would switch and then I would work an hour on this. The problem is it's not efficient. If you would read some of the surveys or look at some of the supporting data that they've done on this, it takes at least 20 minutes to, to get your mindset wrapped around the project that you're switching to. The same is for interruptions, if you're being interrupted. You have to have a time when you're working with your phone off, not looking at calls, answering texts or emails. So the focus is important. So you're not forgetting about your other projects you're choosing one to do at a time first. And like I said, I would choose the one that's quickest, closest to completion. They say this about paying off your debts too. Start with the smallest balance, pay that off first, and then let it snowball into the... So what I did is, and I'm encouraging you guys to do this too, I made a list of all the books I want to write and promote and pitch, and I, I assigned months to them. So from December all the way till next June, so for the next year and a half, each month, which project I'm going to work on. Now some of them may take less than a month, some of them may take more than a month, but there's also the way you structure your day in um, doing, if you know when your time of the day is where you can concentrate the most, Use your concentrated hours to do the kind of work that needs that deep thought where you can't be interrupted. For me, that's writing. So for me, that's as soon as I put the kids on the bus and feed the baby and he goes down for a nap, I can work on the stuff that needs my deep concentration. Now, maybe there's things on my list uh, for my projects that I can do when, when the house gets a little messy, when the baby's awake, when the other kid comes home from school, I can work on the things that don't require as much concentration that may be for that project or it may be for uh, another project, but it's stuff like answering phone calls, answering emails, doing research on the project, and you know what it is for you and your project. So breaking it down into what you're going to do, what you're going to work on, which project you're going to do for each month. And maybe for you, your projects are smaller, so maybe it's a weekly thing, or maybe your projects are something you can do in a day, but you're focusing on just that one thing at a time until it's complete. So that will bring you so much more success because you'll actually be able to finish the things that you start rather than switching back and forth multiple times throughout the day on the multiple projects you're working on. Just give it a try and let me know how it works for you. It's been working great for me. All right, love to hear from you.